going to do a uh, overview of the tripod on the right here. It is the Black Ovis Carbon Tree Line Sitting Tripod. Um, just for a quick comparison, the one on the left is the Vortex High Country. You can kind of see the difference. It's more obviously taller. It's actually heavier as well. And um, you can kneel with it. The sitting tripod on the right, the Black Ovis one, you can't really kneel with it. It doesn't go very high. And I'll uh, show that here shortly. You can see this is the Black Ovis uh, carbon tree line uh, tripod. It's the sitting pipe bipod. Um, pretty adjustable there. Just a uh, twist lock. Open this up a little bit. That's at its highest. And you can adjust here. This will adjust for the horizontal movement. Super fluid, really nice. Here, loosen for the vertical, so you can adjust if you're looking up or downhill. Obviously, have a nice rotation. I am six two. I'm sitting down here. If I can't do this, and you can see how high it is. Now, these are auto-locking down here. Just loosen up just a little bit, push this down. You can rotate this out to whatever. You can go all the way up. You feel crazy enough for that, but let's say we'll do it on the second one here. Bring it down. Be a little lower there. Figure this out here. Just a little bit, and you're good to go. Um, you can adjust these to the terrain that you're in. So you have a rock over here if you want to have this a little bit higher. Have that up, sitting down. But just sitting down, this isn't an issue. I'm a fairly big dude, so having this go around my hips there isn't a big issue. And then you're just able to go and adjust. I mean, you can get it to where you can just adjust it by your your head or have the handle out here. Super, super, super fluid. There's no, there's, it doesn't get hung up on anything. It, they really designed this very well. Um, it is actually lighter. I have the, um, the high country tripod. I'm using that right now for the video. But the the high country tripod's a little bit more flimsy, so it does move a little bit. However, both do have this attachment on the bottom. I can move this around here, and you can see here this hook. Uh, let me bring this down just a hair. You can see this hook here, and what that does is you can hang something off of that small pack, your water bottle, whatever. The high winds is going to give it more stability. Do that on the the high country as well but this here is a lot more solid um, it's actually lighter than the high country which is super nice and it's got a little bit more adjustability you can bring these up higher and um, it's just nicer I think it's um, obviously I think it's just under double the cost but you get quality uh, Black Ovis is actually stepping up their game a lot with hunting supplies, um, clothes, and now this. Um, I just got a super cheap um, Amazon attachment for my Vortex binoculars here. However, I, 
I'm in the market of looking around for different attachments that are kind of more of a quick disconnect up top. But swap this out. It comes with the head and the attachment here. It also comes with an attachment so you could throw um, your phone on and you can't see here. It's a Bluetooth remote so you can take uh, trophy photos after you're done and successful with your hunt. But all in all, I haven't used this in the field yet. I literally just got it the other day. Just been tinkering around with it. But it is surprisingly stout. There it is in its highest position. Um, I mean, you could probably kneel down with it and go with it. It's a, not as comfortable, but I'm super excited about this and being able to throw it in my pack. Drop this down. Show you real quick how I would have it. There's a few different ways that you can do this. Um, attaching it on um, one of the sides of your packs in like the rangefinder holder area or the pocket, or you can uh, strap it to the side. That's typically how I do. I just use one of the compression straps. Say so here. Just take this off, put this down. And this right here, the handle, you can loosen this and it pivots out of the way. So super, super compact. I mean, that's impressive. Now, when you get it, it actually comes, they have it up. I'd have to measure it to be honest with you to see exactly the height difference. I don't want to rotate this so that the handle's not in the way of the legs. This actually might be slightly more compact. And I have, just keep a bungee on me. I have bungees on me all the time in my pack. They just tighten that so you don't get that going. But super compact, light but also very stout, um, very well built. Aluminum, um, end caps here, body, and then the carbon legs and the center shaft there. So all in all, super, super impressed with this so far. I'm really looking forward to putting this to use next weekend or this upcoming weekend. Um, I'm gonna be chasing bears, so see if I can't get up to some higher country in glass, but this is what I'm going to be utilizing and uh, that tripod's going to be more for my videos now. So, yeah, hope you guys like the, the review. Um, just show you a quick uh, close-up afterwards. All right, so the quick uh, close-up here. It's got a bubble up top, so if you want to make sure that it's all level if you're doing photos or whatever, um, to adjust that bring these legs down these are spring loaded so that would be the first lock second third and that is the last one so you go around do that 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 right here is the Bluetooth remote um, it has it for both uh, Android and iPhone you just turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and you're ready to rock Again, it's just the twist locks. Super quiet and easy to adjust. Twist lock here as well. You can adjust that in height. And then at the bottom, you can see here, tighten that down a little bit. But this is spring loaded, so you can put weight on it. And it's going to hold it more secure when it is in that higher wind. And then here, screw, slide it in, locks it in place, and you have the handle to adjust the pan head on it. Now, this doesn't adjust in or out, doesn't swing, so you're stuck with that position. However, 
It's not that big of a deal. It's pretty comfortable. Now, on the side here, to adjust the horizontal movement, it's just a small quarter turn, maybe even less than that. And it's super fluid. It's awesome. And then this is, you can adjust this and let's see, probably half turn. And be able to adjust that pretty fluid as well. Um, this is a little less smooth doing the vertical adjustment as is the horizontal, but I'm really just nitpicking now. All in all, super impressed. And this is going to be in my gear for a very, very long time.